The blue blubber jellyfish is most commonly encountered along the coast of eastern Australia in bays and estuaries. Despite their name, they are not always blue. Sometimes they are white or brown. They are active and have a relatively high pulsing frequency. Eight conical arms protrude below the bell. They feed on plankton. They have no tentacles. The arms act like filters and transport food to their stomach by a canal-like system. The feeding structures in blue blubber jellyfish represent a much larger proportion of their overall body mass compared with many other species. These jellies can grow very large and heavy, about 16 inches wide. Their populations can have large blooms. These blooms can interfere with fishing operations or disable ships by clogging up their cooling pipes. Even though blue blubber jellyfish have a strong sting, they are edible and commonly eaten by humans. Once they have been properly dried and stored, they are safe to eat. Some cultures believe eating jellies will reduce high blood pressure. Dried jellies are popular in many Asian countries and often considered a culinary delicacy. The texture is described as crispy, yet elastic. Like most other jellies, blue blubber jellyfish alternate between a sexual medusa stage and an asexual polyp stage. Adult medusae brood free-swimming larvae. Larvae settle on hard substrate and grow into four tentacled polyps. A polyp continues to grow more tentacles and eventually strobilates larval medusae. A larval jellyfish is called an ephra. The ephra develops oral arms and grows into an adult. Adult medusae may live for over 10 months, depending on their location. For more marine facts, click the subscribe button.